I am Rosa Fontaine. I'm a theatre pedagog and I work for the Toneelmakerij. Uh, I'm Jaela and um, I was one of the youngsters in this project in Amsterdam. Uh, the Toneelmakerij um, is creating a lot of new uh, theatre plays for a young audience and in this project um, we do that again. And uh, now we could only do it on an international base, so not only for, <laughs> for the youngsters in Holland, but for whole Europe. And we could work together with, the, uh, with Norway. And what's very special about this project is that we could have the youngsters in the creative process. <laughs> yeah, we, we wanted um, to inspire a, a, a writer that he could see actually the, the world of the youngsters. So that we were the influence for him to open the world of the youngsters. So that it was not only his story, but yeah, their story. Uh, all the assessments we did, so the, the writing or making films or the things we did um, in our rehearsal room, we shared it with each other. So the, the youngster from Amsterdam with the youngster from Oslo. Uh, we had one Facebook group together and that's uh, um, protected, so that was only for us. So we could see what the others uh, were doing and we could have contact. I think we basically talked a lot, and, but we also did like weird, uh, weird things. Just also just joke, jokes and games. but also like serious things where we had to write poems about ourselves. I'm about listening and observing, about dreaming and enjoying, about peace and acting. I'm about New Guinea and Belgium, about Ghana and Amsterdam. I'm about drawing and cooking, learning and exploring, and about loving. This soul and more am I. Especially after the poem, there was this sort of yeah, an environment where everybody could just like talk about everything they wanted. And we had a really small group. I think we were with about eight people and usually like some people weren't there. So we had really a small number. So that's, uh, that was very good for this project because then you could really concentrate on everybody and everybody could share their strengths, but also their weaknesses and their problems they sort of had. We did have contact with the, the youngsters in Oslo once only, and uh, that was very weird because uh, we went on Skype. But the moment when you, you got seated in front of the, the webcam and they as well, and it was like, whoa, you know, you're, you're really there, okay, hello. All of a sudden you get like really shy, even though it's just over Skype. In this project, I, re I realized that um, young people, they are really quite the same. You watch the same movies and the same, you read the same books and everything, you have the same problems and we enjoy the same things and um, that we're so similar. And uh, so that's what I've really learned about this project is that even though you look different or you act different or everything, like somewhere deep inside, you have a lot of similarities, not with everybody, but with more people than you think.